Good morning, and welcome to Westminster School's celebration of the Lunar New Year. 2019 is the year of the pig. In Western culture, being a pig isn't really something a person brags about. But according to the Chinese zodiac, if you or someone you know turns 12, 24, 36, or any other multiple of 12 this year, that person might be a pig. The Chinese zodiac is interesting that way. If you're a dragon, or a tiger, or even a horse, that's something you might feel pretty proud about sharing. Then there are the sort of second tier animals, your sheep, dogs, chickens, snakes, or uh, rabbits. And finally, there's the ones that seem downright lovely, snakes and rats. All these animals convey a distinctive meaning, but many of them read very differently in Eastern cultural traditions, as opposed to the Western ones that are more familiar to many of us. In the West, a pig is generally thought of as slothful, but in the Chinese zodiac tradition, the pig is not really a slob, but simply easygoing and without, and without high materialistic demands. Perhaps their best attribute is their absolute honesty. They might not be the brightest animal, but a pig will never, ever lie to you or betray you. Sure, they might be just a tiny bit lazy, but that's only because they are easily content in life. Everybody loves pigs because they are sweet, funny, totally non-judgmental, maybe a little clueless on occasion, but always, always kind and well-intentioned. So show the pigs in your life a little love in the new year. Life wouldn't be nearly so nice without them. In honor of this holiday, we have prepared some well-known poems and songs from the Chinese tradition. You will get to hear them in the original language and their English translation. The first poem is perhaps the most well-known poem in China. Thoughts on a Quiet Night was written by one of China's most famous poets, Li Bai, who lived during the Tang Dynasty. It reads, Bright new light before my bed, I suspected it was frost on the ground. I raised my head and gazed at the bright moon, then lower it and think of my home. Xiao Tao, Mei Yu Hua Xiang, Mei Yu Shu Bao, Washi Eko Uren Zerda, the Xiao Tao, Chung Bu Jimo, Chung Bu Fan Mao, Nika, what a profan, Yanzi Tian Ya Hai Jiao. Chen Fong, ah, Chen Fong, Ni Bao, Chui Ru, Yang Wang, ah, 阳光，你把我照亮。河流啊，山川，你不有了我，大地啊，母亲，把我紧紧拥抱。A small blade of grass is an aria from a Chinese opera. The words are, "I am not fragrant like a flower or tall like a tree." I'm an anonymous little blade, blade of grass. But I'm never lonely, never troubled. You see my companions reach to the four corners of the world. Spring breeze, oh spring breeze. When you blow, I grow green. Sunlight, oh sunlight. You shine down on me. Rivers and mountains, you nurture me. The earth, my mother, holds me close in her arms. Chung 
，笔画功在简。明年春风回，菊如满盆花。This poem was written by Hu Shen, China's first modern poet. An advocate of literacy for all Chinese people, he often used plain language and simple subject matter. In English, the poem reads, I returned from the mountains, bringing back an orchid. I planted it in my garden, hoping it would bloom nicely. Each day, I checked it several times, until the seasons for blossoms had passed. Anxious gardener that I am, I didn't get a single bud. Before my eyes, autumn has come, and I moved the plant inside. When spring breezes return next year, I hope you'll have a pot full of flowers. Thank you all for helping us celebrate this important holiday. Giving money in a red envelope is a wish for good fortune in the new year. To wish you all a happy and prosperous year of pig, we have red envelopes for all of you to take on your way out today. Some contain a small wish, while others may be a little luckier. We invite you to continue celebrating tonight at dinner. Come have some traditional Chinese dumplings, try some tea, learn how to write a Chinese character, or play mahjong. Thank you, and Qingyan Kuai Lung.